To become a full-time network marketer, you must start thinking like a business owner. Because that is what you are right now. If you build any business, you need to have a basic understanding of the industry you're in. How did it all start? How did it develop? What are the numbers? Is it a growing industry and many other topics that are important for a professional? This lesson will help you a lot to build more belief and confidence in your network marketing business. Typically, people are very biased when they talk about network marketing. Common objections are, only the people at the top make money, it's a pyramid scheme, it won't last long, it can't work as more and more people need to enroll and then the system collapses, and so on. You might have heard some of those phrases or even think the same way. A professional network marketer's main job is to educate people about our profession. So let's talk about what network marketing is and how it really works. To get a perfect understanding on how it works, let's have a quick look at the history of the industry, how it was invented, and why it's such an incredible opportunity for so many people around the world. Network marketing is a part of the direct sales industry. Even though direct sales are obviously the oldest trade form, it took until 1845 until the first direct sales company with the name of Southwestern was born. Many companies followed that business model and some are still around by today. The early stages of network marketing though refer back to the year 1934 when a company called California Vitamins was born. The company's founder, Carl Reinborg, spent several years in Asia where he found out about the health benefits of vitamins and decided to start selling them in the US. As the products and the concept of vitamins needed a lot of explanation, the only way to sell them was by presenting the products in households. Carl Reinborg quickly realized that his time is limited, so he decided to not stick to the old concept of door-to-door -door sale, but instead allow his distributors to recruit other independent distributors and participate in their sales volume. It was a great idea which changed the whole industry as the income potential grew from being paid only what someone could produce himself to a stage where you could build teams without having the risk of classical entrepreneurship. By building and training teams, distributors had the potential to scale their income to a certain point. The only downside was that every distributor was only getting paid on those people's revenue he or she recruited personally. This method is nowadays known as unilevel marketing. In 1939, the company changed its name to Nutrilite. The company had great success with their business model and attracted great distributors. Two of them were Rich DeVos and Jay Van Andel. These two individuals became very successful but had the idea of expanding the model of distribution. They were not satisfied by only being paid on one level and had the idea to pay on more than one level. In unilevel marketing, if someone would recruit a distributor, this person would get paid on their respective sales volume as well. But why not expand this business model even further? What if it would be possible to create a compensation plan where someone not only gets paid on that first recruit, but also on their recruits and their recruits and their recruits and then participate in all the sales done through this organization? Rich and Jay followed their idea and founded their own company in 1959. They created a compensation plan where people got paid on multiple levels. That was the first time the term multi-level marketing was used. They called their company the American Way, or nowadays known as Amway. This was literally the first ever multi-level marketing company in the world. In the early 70s, that business model became so successful that the first scams appeared. Amway was selling products to consumers and distributors were paid on the sales volume generated by their customers. Scammers had the idea to copy the model, but instead of selling a physical product, they were just moving money around. Ponzi schemes, pyramid schemes, money games, you name it, they were all born in the 70s. Unfortunately, they're still around today and often get confused with network marketing. Many people fell for these quick rich schemes and complained to the FTC, that is the Federal Trade Commission of the US. In those times was no regulation, MLM was still kind of new to many, but the sales revenue was shocking. Amway made more than $700 million in sales in just one year. And I'm talking about the 70s here. 
The declared goal of the FTC was to shut down all these illegal companies. But they just did not know themselves what was legal or not, as there were no regulations or laws. So they took on the biggest player at the time. They knew if they can shut down Amway, they have a precedent case and can shut down all companies at once. In 1975, the famous case FTC versus Amway started. The FTC's strategy was to convince the judge to start with an injunction and forbid Amway to recruit any new distributors as long as the process lasts. That was a smart strategy as the FTC was pretty sure that those schemes, as they tagged them, would implode as they would only make money as long as new people got recruited into the system. But guess what? It didn't work out. The case lasted four years in which the injunction stayed intact. Amway did not grow, but also did not shrink. That was enough proof for the judge to realize that the business model done in the right way is perfectly legal and an effective method of distribution as the customer base was so large that the products got ordered monthly, even without recruiting. But the judge also worked out a framework, still known as the Amway ruling. The industry got regulated and nowadays it's very clear what is legal and what is not. 1978 was the year when MLM and later known as network marketing was officially legalized. In only three years, more than two million people started a part or full-time business in the industry. Since then, the industry has grown massively. In the next video, I will show you some numbers which will definitely blow your mind. And if you have any further questions, as always, please let me know.